Nanana Sijus, Zen Hafaday. Thank you everyone for being here. Um, the Committee on Heritage and the Arts, Parks, Guam Products, Hagatnya Revitalization, Self Determination and Regional Affairs, to which I chair, will now convene this public hearing. For the record, in accordance with the open government law, Public hearing notices were given to all senators, stakeholders, and all main media broadcasting outlets. The first notice went out on Wednesday, March 20th, 2019, and the second notice on Monday, March 25th, 2019. Today is Thursday, March 27th, 2019, and the time is now 2.34. The committee will hear and accept testimonies, both oral and written, on the following. Bill 59-35, COR. An act to establish the Historiata Inetnon Estudion i Umali'i, Zen Umafana i Tautau Hizong Zen Tautau Tanu Commission, to share the Chamorro perspective during the 500th year since I Manautau Motna first discovered Westerners in their waters. Joining me for this public hearing, uh, I will begin uh, from right to left, I guess. Um, we have Senator Mary Torres, who is here. We have Senator Talo Taidegui and Senator Will Castro. So do this, Masi, for being here today. We will conduct today's public hearing for Bill 59-35 COR and receive written and oral testimony from the public and interested parties on the bill. We will then entertain and take oral comments and testimonies from the general public whom are present. General rules for the public hearing. The conduct of this public hearing shall be as follows. Those testifying will be recognized in the order of the sign-up sheet. Written testimony may be read. Lengthy written testimony should be summarized to about three to five minutes. Written testimony shall be submitted to the Committee on Heritage and the Arts, Parks, Guam Products, Hagatnya Revitalization, Self-Determination, and Regional Affairs. Please provide our legislative staff with your written testimony for photocopying. Testimony shall be confined to the substance. Persons will be allowed to present oral testimony only once. Once you are done, you may be asked to remain in the room for questions or for additional testimony as may be desired by the members of the panel. I'd like to start with a, a bit of an opening statement. So this bill number 59, it establishes a commission to ensure that Chamorro perspectives are given the respectful place in the events surrounding the 500th year of the first circumnavigation. It ensures that indigenous narratives are incorporated into the events. It works to make sure that study and direct research to organize programs and educational material are given an opportunity. It allows us, through the commission, to consult with pertinent cultural and historical offices and organizations. It will allow us to work with Spain's museums to ensure the sharing of local displays and materials are part, a part of what is presented. And it allows us to coordinate other events and logistics, uh, but definitely focusing on ensuring that indigenous voices, indigenous perspectives, and the indigenous culture are depicted and duly part of each of these uh, activities or events. So with that, we will now begin to hear testimonies on Bill 59-35 COR. When you speak, please make sure that the microphone is on and that you speak into the microphone and to turn it off once you are finished speaking. Um, so if I could call up 
please, uh, Dr. Robert Underwood. John Titano, Andrew Laguatnia, Carlos Laguatnia, and I see that there are a couple of more seats, uh, Omira Perry, uh, Dr. Michael Babakwa, and is uh, Ronald Laguatnia here? Ah, there, very good. And we also have, okay, I hadn't gotten the second sheet yet. Um, we also have uh, Laura Souter that we want to um, have, but perhaps that'll be on the second round if that's all right. But we've received your written testimony already, so it's Masi for providing that already. So please begin your testimony by starting your name for the record after you turn your microphone on. And we shall begin with uh, the first name, uh, the first person on the list, which is Dr. Robert Underwood. Sizus Maasi for being here, Dr. Underwood. Uh, thank you very much. My name is uh, Robert Underwood. Buenas tardes todo hamzo, man honorablen oficial estado Guam. Voy a agradecer esta oportunidad para ver el presente de ajo de la Seninteco por esta legislación por el finato de Tauto Hizum casi 500 años de tiene tiempo. Para pago, no ha ni un representante y comisión de renta en Zamoro fuera de Seninteco no personal. Gracias a Dios, no se milen y dos de tanta distancia entre y dos ni se llama Midi. Finetna ve un año de un club de dos más senadora Kelly Marsh con todo lo que se Senadora Teresa de la Haye, por razón de la avanza mona, es una idea de la presente de esta legislación. Es muy importante esta ocasión, es muy importante esta oportunidad para una familia y experiencia como autóctono, como autó marianas. Según la matogenia de esta legislación, en lugar de la descubrir de la otra banda, ta descubri sia gi lugata ane man matumage claro ha fa sustanciana dan todo na tiningu humudun genenistina idea para ta tala bira i historian edzo na tempo da para ta usa istina okashon e finato ne bat con espanyol para ta na matungo e henasota i diata e finota da ne kotorata guhi na tempo Años por años, hagas más sangan a matos y magadanes de ha descubrir. Años por años, más sangan y hit por la experiencia y marino ni man mato guijina tiempo. Años por años, más sangan y hit, más sangan y enterro y el mundo, na man saki y tautotano. Da ma fana ni tanota is las ladrones. Hasan a más sangan y tautotano somat ba istisia. Dan ni na fanyot ni ni na fanyot susia imarino nestanhero mana fangimen dan ma amte iman malongo tanda na mana klaro hafa si entinia itauto tano pod isti na si nisedi dan hafa moan hinasunia ni finato ni itauto lago gibenti benti na sakan para ma lilikui mundo taimano bidana si magdalne dan si aukano. Si o kano mo magasi biyahe ni Espanyola ni Mapuno si Magadanes di Filipinas. Siyempre man matos ti siya na bat ko gi isla guihi na sakan da siyempre matatidi isti na hinano gi gaseta, gi television, dan gi internet. Siyempre ma kontinua edzo i hagas istorya ni ti apmamha husasangan kumo ti tatsuli isti na aptonidad para tanak kloro dan tana agang mismo y historiata. Este gui pontonia este na legislación. Aje ti por celebración. Aje ti por hazi para uma honra. Lo que para uma na balanza e historia en edzo na tiempo dan e hagas ma presenta años por años. Ginin este na legislación para tatsul este na aptunidad para uma na hudzong historia en etautautano. 
para ta estudia más por ta autotano para matungo por capacidad ta gisakman giman hat saguma por que na lamte ni sociedad y ningeta todo este para mato gi formar na manera gina ni isla ta ni autotano gi no es una comisión me que sea una actividad fuera de que na lamte barco siempre guaja conferencia siempre guaja en estudio siempre guaja formar la visita de la ocasión tangen la forma este no es una ni comisión, siempre seguro en la mañana, siempre seguro en la mañana, mi historiata, siempre seguro en la mañana, comprende si no es una mañana, que en cinco ciclos está en el tiempo. Y la manera que me propone para una forma este en la comisión, es seguro en todo el cine, y es importante en la voz, en el lugar para los cuentos. Siguro na ma onna da ma respeta i fuerza ni tau 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 no. Siguro na ta chogi todo isti con dignidad, dan honesto, dan respetao na siniente. Siempre guaja lugar para ma sea hardi gi isla para presenta i idea niya. Siempre guaja lugar para famagu, un manomko, estudiante, maestro, maestra para estudia todo este. The 500th anniversary of the circumnavigation of Magellan and Elcano presents an opportunity for us to balance the story of the events of that faithful voyage as they occurred here in Guam. <clears throat> it is an opportunity to tell the Guam story to a world whose attention may be drawn to the island in March 2020. The effort behind this retracing of Mag Mag Magazanes, Magellan's voyage is multifaceted. It is at once a maritime event, an academic undertaking, and a diplomatic opportunity. In order for us to take full advantage of this, it is essential that our community focus our energy through a commission as it is brought into existence by this legislation. The events of March 1521 were undoubtedly tragic and introduced a series of events which created dramatic and unwanted change. Seven men were killed, and the islands we inhabit were called the Islas de Ladrones. I do not honor those events, but we should not ignore them either. It happened, and it set loose the forces of colonialism, which has shaped our existence for centuries and continues to shape our lives today. In this legislation, it is clear that the Guam legislature wants to present the Guam perspective and the Tautotano view of the events that occurred centuries ago to the entire world. It is also clear that this is the chance to present the strength of the Chamorro civilization as it had developed to 1521. If we establish this commission in the spirit of this understanding and we amass the resources that we have in the community, in our educational systems and in our political institutions, Guam will be the winner in this renewal of the encounter 500 years uh, hence. We can do this by creating a a uh, broad-based commission that is infused with the indigenous spirit, academic knowledge, and community involvement. That's exactly what we have. The legislation requires seven specific duties and purposes. These are comprehensive in nature and speak to collaboration with specific agencies and offices in Guam, open meetings with the public to secure input, work with government agencies and academic institutions in Spain. All of these are done with the fundamental purpose of ensuring that, quote, indigenous narratives and critiques are incorporated into the planning of development of events and materials, unquote. In carrying out these functions, it may be useful to ask the commission to work with agencies in the Northern Marianas and the broader Micronesian region. All Pacific Island entities were affected by the circumnavigation, although it was primarily Guam and the Northern Marianas in the beginning. Their representation in these events will assist in explaining the point of view of, these, of islanders. The efforts of this commission will require significant coordination with external agencies. We anticipate that there will be online meetings and discussions among students and academics. We anticipate that there will be exchanges of museum presentations. We anticipate that there will be efforts to reach out to Spanish government officials to go much more and much further than just statements of pride about the achievements of the circumnavigators. While this may be an extremely important time and we anticipate worldwide attention, I want to add that this is not a celebration or a festival. 
It is not similar to FESPAC, and representatives, at least of the Comisione in the Entenza Moro, will, ins will ensure that it doesn't turn into FES Europac. It will be a time of reflection and appreciation of our story for the first time in 500 years. The Commissione Erenza and Samuro endorses this legislation and of course we will work with the senators to perfect the legislation as necessary. It's almost there with what we have before us. Sijus Mahasi, thank you. Sijus Mahasi, for your testimony. Uh, next we have John Titano. So. Hi, good afternoon, Senator. Marsh, we uh, appreciate the opportunity to come before the, le the legislature to present our view of this particular legislation. We want to thank also Senator Mary Torres, Senator Tidegui, and of course Senator Castro for their participation in this public hearing. I'm here to introduce the Young Men's League of Guam, Inetnun Lalahin Guahan. It's a 104 year old organization, and so it took us 104 years to get to this point to attempt to embrace and use the opportunity in order to send our, our message and our uh, voices so that Spain can hear it. With me is my brother and uh, the vice president of our organization, Andrew Leon Guerrero, as well as our, I mean, I'm sorry, Andrew Laguatnia. I have it all written down here. My deepest apologies, brother. Um, my brother, who is charged with the Community Cultural uh, Committee, is my brother Carlos Laguatnia, and our former chair of the uh, Cultural Committee, brother Ronald Laguatnia. They may sound like brothers, and we are all brothers. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to yield to the vice president so that he can provide the testimony of the Young Men's League One. Thank you, senators. Sejus Masi, John, I'll get right into it. The Inetnan Lalahin Guahan was initially wary of supporting this bill as it could be construed as a celebration of Ferdinand Magellan. But after reading closely the language of the bill and also discussing the issue amongst our leadership, we are considering supporting it because of the important opportunity it will, look, will allow the island and in particular the Chamorro people to seize it as as Dr. Underwood we earlier just mentioned that earlier. The work of this commission can do will be critical when the five, 500th anniversary of Magellan's voyage arrives in Guam in 2021. This commission can ensure that, that in activities scheduled around the anniversary, the Chamorro people and the Europeans are represented as equals in the historical moment, not as one being discovered by the other or one being superior over the other. This will be an important opportunity to retell this historical moment from the Chamorro perspective. The work of the commission can also help Guam capitalize on this anniversary and to develop greater visibility in the eyes of the world as international media will visit Guam in March of 2021 to cover this event. Diplomats and dignitaries dignitaries from around the world, Pacific Rim, will also attend. We can capture this moment to draw attention to our issues, our continuing quest for self-determination, the protection of our lands, language, and culture. As a territory, we are not used to sitting at the table. We're used to either be being on the menu, as we can sometimes see when military plans are made for Guam, or we are used to being seated at a separate, smaller table, away from where the discussions are being made. This experience of disrespect and marginalization began in 1521 and has continued for centuries since. The U.S. and Spanish governments are already working together to plan how they will commemorate the 500th anniversary in our lands and our waters. Again, we are not included at that table. The U.S., as a matter of courtesy and respect to the Chamorro people, <clears throat> should acknowledge and inform the Spanish government that the island of Guam has its own government, its own elected governor. Further, that it was the Chamorro people that they encountered 500 years ago and not the U.S. It is still our lands, our waters, whether 
we are an unincorporated territory of the U.S. or not. It is disappointing that the Spanish government has not only reached out to our elected leaders, Magahaga, Lulian Guerrero, and our Congressman Michael San Nicolas, inviting them to participate in the planning for any commemoration. Through this commission and other forms of advocacy, we can ensure that our people, from the governor and other leaders, down to the grassroots, to, to get to sit at that table and decide how our history is remembered. We are hopeful that the creation of this commission can fix that and ensure that our elected leaders and therefore the people are respected in this event's planning. The Nenun La La Hingguang approaches that, the, uh, appreciates that the bill does not repeat the idea that we were discovered, but places our history in a more accurate and more truthful contact. Our history is often taught in such a way where we are made to feel like foreigners. When missionaries and explorers claim this island for their countries or their religions, they were attempting to take so much more. They sought to take our simple dignity as a people, our sense of identity, our place in the world. When Magellan passed through these waters, he was the foreigner. This was our home. These were our waters. We sailed these seas, long deep water voyages, visiting our neighbors and trading with them, while Europeans were still frightened of the sea, still playing in the shallow waters. As the bill makes clear, as a group of foreigners lost, hungry, sickly, and without a clue, we discovered them. We found them, and with so many indigenous peoples, our sense of generosity led us to feed them and provide water. But in the way Malayalans meant to tell the story, we end up being the bad guys. They claim that we stole from them, justifying their atrocities in killing a group of Chamorros and burning their villages. They, scared the, they scarred the island for centuries with, with the name Ladrones. Nowhere in those history books is there a Chamorro voice. Nowhere can you find the Chamorro perspective. As Spain and the Western world revisit this historical period, it is imperative that we do not allow another Ladrones moment, that we, do, that we do not allow the world to once again tell our story for us and tell us and themselves who we are. While much of the world may see Magellan as a hero, a great explorer who led the European voyage to circle the world, this is not what he was to our ancestors, and this may not be who he is to us. While others may list his accomplishments, we must also list his atrocities. While some may praise the benefits of the world for his voyage, we must remind them of the damages to our people and what we lost as a result of European colonization. Magellan's visit to Guam represented what one history called the first taint of civilization. During only a short visit, Magellan would murder seven Chamorros and burn down an unknown number of settlements. His men may have cut open those that killed and taken their cut entrails back to six sailors who thought they might have healing power. This violence was only the beginning. Later, when Spanish colonization and conquest began in earnest, Chamorros would be tortured, executed, forced to give up their land and culture. By the 18th century, Spanish oppression and new diseases had all but annihilated the Chamorro people. Historians Carano and Sanchez estimate that the population dropped from between 50,000 to from 50 to 10,000 to only 5,000. We must not let Spain or others forget this tragedy. The Nenan Lalahi Guan sees the work of this commission as an important first step in establishing a dialogue with the Spanish around our shared history and not with the U.S. As a territory, we have no diplomatic ties to our former colonizer. We lack a, we lack a channel to express our grievances over past mistreatment, no way to seek redress or some form of restitution. No way, to, if established, this commission will be very critical in making such a dialogue possible if handled properly, those who first came and invaders and aggressors can possibly become new partners and allies. 
It is important that for a commission such as this, which will help introduce Guam and the Chamorro people to the rest of the world, that there be as much community representation and involvement. The current version of the bill provides strong representation from the government of Guam, but lacks strong participation from the community groups. To this end, the YMLG would like to make a more specific recommendation. As colonization was something that disrupted many forms of traditional leadership, it is imperative that we give respect to the forms of leadership that we have created in the time since. As the Anandana Lalahi Guam is the oldest continuous tomorrow organization, we feel that the bill should be amended to include one representation from our group who will sit as a member of this proposed commission. The Anandana Lalahi Guam was started more than a century ago as a protest against the mistreatment of the Chamorro people and the U.S. Navy's attempt to erase their existence. In the century since our inception, the Netanyahu Guam can boast countless members who have dedicated their lives to making up the cause of the Chamorro people, whether it be for political status, cultural preservation, land rights, and promotion of our native language. As a president for the Nekman the Lion Guam in Guam's inclusion, we can look back to 2016 when Guam was the host country for the 12th Pacific Festival of Arts. During the opening ceremony and the other activities, the Nenan Lalahin Guam acted as traditional leaders. Our group's officials performed ceremonies, presented gifts, and accepted gifts from other islands as we were recognized as the oldest and most esteemed of Chamorro organizations. In conclusion, the Nenan Lalahin Guahan are strongly considering supporting this bill and believe it can be very beneficial to the Chamorro people. We hope that you have heard our voices today and will take them seriously in redrafting of this bill and any further associated action with the 500th anniversary commemoration. Thank you and Siju Smasi. Siju Smasi, Mr. Andrew Laguanya. Senator, if I may. Yes. We'd like to call on our brother Ron Laguanya to blow the kulu. Maulik, Siju Smasi. Fanogi Tsamoro.
And with that, Senator, we conclude the, uni the Young Men's Illegal Guam's pre presentation to your committee. Sizu Usmaasi. Sizu Usmaasi for that. It uh, really provides a, a beautiful feeling. It adds gravitas to what we're doing, and it's very appropriate. So Sizu Usmaasi for providing that. Um, for Mr. Carlos Laguagna, did you have testimony as well? Okay. So, shall I move on then to Ms. Omira Perry? Uh, thank you very much, Senator Kelly. Um, I'm here to support Bill 59-35, which is to create a commission to chair the Jamorro perspective during the 500th year of the first discovery of the Western and their waters. Um, the testimony of Dr. Robert Underwood and Mr. Andy Laguagna are very expressive and I support their uh, feelings because the history has to be told from both parties because it's not such a history from the unilateral side. So this is the reason I support the creation of this commission that had a wide representation from various agencies to, from the old island. And I'm thinking it will be um, a very serious task to be uh, commended to this uh, group of people that will form this commission. Thank you very much. Sangam Asi for your testimony and support. Um, next we have uh, Dr. Michael Bavakla. Uh, buenas and a half a day, man Senator Zantoru. Gwini guest in a gaf pogona haani. Piot Hogu, Senator Marsh Titano, lo Toto Sotram Zoloquini, man Matata Tsungwano. Inano si Michael Ohan Bavakla. Um, who support the SD? Ma proponi Bill 5935. Ni paru me establishi un commission ni paru giniha taimano na para to commemorate the 500 year anniversary puri fenaton magi si Ferdinand Magellan. Hagas man estudia zu puri historian Guahan zan i historian Samoru. Hagas man mananagui zu lokui puri historian Guahan ki halami kolehu zan ki halam i komunidad. Meg guys ni osangin pud SD. Na hafa na zahu estina estina bill. Unu na punto ni gof zahu pero estina ma proponi na lai. Esta a ano gi summary zan gi ina anya ilai. Ha agaga sa guaha problema gi palabra ni ta uusa para describe estina momento gi historia. Historian guahan zan historian mundo. Por ejemplo para si Magellan fiu historian siha ma usa y palabra explorer. Hero, great navigator, Taiguihisia, Kulangon Mokgas, Natauta, Simagellan, Menhalum Gitasi, Chigun Mega in a Titigi Historia, Gi Otrutano, Zahafana Palabra Mausa Puritsamoru, Manyakli, Mansakisia, Mansadbahi, Manbudoru, Todu and Osia. Lo Tatungo Pongono y Minagahit, Simagellan, Mismo, Umabak, Guihina Momentu Gestoria, Tiatungu i kurenti, tiatungu i puti un siha, mismo de neskubri guina i ni tautauta. Sa siya mismo man menhalum, por esti na banda gi mundo. Zagi esti na bil talii i na un, zahonay na talii i un mas tsamoru na i inatan para i matugetnya, para i masanganya esti na momento. Sa por templo gi, in the name of the bill, it uses the reciprocal a prefix. The, so, gi i palabra uma, uma fana za uma li'i. Za ma seso pa gunay ta hungok esti gi palabra inafa maulik. <coughs> za gof anok gi esti na gramatika i koturan samoru zani inatan niha na ipuri mundo. Very uh, important in Chamorro cosmology. So, gi, gi koturan samoru na maulik niya na na un silung, pad un na fanyilung tautaw na gi sinangan mo. Um, in lugar, mas maulik ano ki un na latakilo uno ki nui otro. So, por ejemplo, if you know English, you might say, I saw, I saw you at the party. 
or I saw her at the party. Lo gifinot sumoro ma sesun song and umat lii ham, pat umat lii hit gigi put. Unat silong it itaupton ay gisinangan mo. Za zahu estina na estina komisyon para uma establishi gi estina na klase ni spirito. Na adzuna momento gi historia timan din eskubri hit ni tauta Europa. Sinya ta songa na na manasoda hit, manat lii hit, manafan manafana hit. Toru ifa magoo ni man eskwekwe la gi maseo hafana tano shempri man eedzak putsi magellan. Matungo ina anya wahapati gi leblo ni historia ni momentsona gui. Ni muna aano ki literatunya. Kwana biyahi ma menchona i za guahan lokwe. Lo shempre i naan ha. Hasan nai na ma menchona i za moro. Za hasanya nai na ma menchona i malabidanya. Si Magellan anay sumugu gui ni magi. Ilek niya si Magellan na man ladron hit. Za esta kana kinento sakan man hinehek si hit ni adzo na tzatfinu. Lo sa hafa humudzong esti na histaw. Sa taigui i bosta, gi toru i otru tano. Sa taadza titigeta ni paru fangi leplo ni storia. Taadza famaisen hit hafe sin enteta put adzuna trotamento. Hafe ina tanta. Gi finu ingles hagas masasangan nai na mangana gi historia tumutu gi i leplo ni storia. History is written by the victors. Hasan nai na matugi i historia ni man ladrones. Par adzuna tiampo gof komprendizu nanao. Timam podzun hit, it's a moru yadzuna champu, paradzuna kosas. Megai tiningota, paresti na bandagi mundu. Lo tita goftungu tribiha puri pumalu na tanusia. Lo paogu na champu, tisinya ta sukni i otro tautau. Ta tungu i reklamentu ni mundu. Ta tungu i kakotnya. Ta tungu esta na angentina, angenti ta na agang i bosta. Angenti ta tumutugi i lablota siha, i otro tautau shempri po ma tugidzi hit, ta shempri po ma kwentu sidzi hit lokwe. Angenzata na umasaunau i ina tanta, i sinenteta gi taimanu matsogui esti na anniversary, debri ta fan estiblisi komisyon taigwini. Ni sinya kumentusi i otro nashon siha, ni sinya plumanene ha, sinya umadzura plumanene ha i aktibidat siha. Jadi, gua hamas asongan di komunitas lokwe nai perestina lides ni komision, you know, para hafen, para ta fama komision peresti, para hafen nai na ta commemorate restina anniversary. Nama uleknya siha i Espanyot mengagau dispensasion genen hita, siha sumaki tenota, siha sumomo hit pramaktika megai di kotorata. But siha megai na tsamoru man matai zen megai na tiningu zen hinengi man malingu. Hu konfort mi asti. Lo angen enau i sinenteta. Angen enau i malagota. Tinahong i sinenteta ha. Tinahong na enau i malagota. Za enau i sinentigi holami korasonta. Debri ta na tungu i espanyot i sinenteta. Za besangani, besangani hit toru nai na ta za 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 tiningu ni ha. Por hadzi hit guini, hadzi tsomoro. Za me gain ya taadze tiningo niha, lokui por hafai taimanu i manyaina niha, matrata hit gi tiampun kolonisa. Ni mwa sesu na klas in setnot para i man colonizers nai amnesia. Lo engen guaha komesion tai guini. Sinyata sangani siha ni go fotmat na manera na estigi i sinenten i tauta guahan i tsomoro. Esti i sininteta pot hafa ma susedi en ay man matu magi si Magellan zan si San Vatoris zan otru siha. Engen esta man afana hit pago na tiampo sinyata na klarudzi siha na parahita guini i finatan Magellan ti celebradzon. Maulek nyanay na ti ma celebra. Sinyata sangani siha na guagua tset nudan esta ki pago puri baba na bidanya si Magellan zan i malabidan i otru tautau espanyot lokwe ma siya pali Sindalu pat gubetno. Lo angin taadza dialog, angin taadza lugat taigwini, angin taadza fan diskutidzan taigwini. Siyempre man ninanadziha ni colonial amnesia, zati sinya maamti. Gifanak po, hu sa popati esti na bilz eni espiritu ni i mapropoponi na komisyon, hu agradesi esti na tsansa pari bai husangani hamzu ni hinasoko. Si Jus Masi. Si Jus Masi for your testimony and um, at the end of this I'll be providing an email address if you could kindly 
send your, your written testimony in. Um, we also have called up uh, one more, and then after this I'll be calling uh, others that have signed up. But if we would also now hear from Mr. Ronald Laguanya. Hafadei Toto Samzu. Si Rano Tenorio Laguatnyazu. Gaigizu Gini Pago. Napa Beg. Sangonyamzu. Nati Fabotu Nesti. Estamalofan. Gimapu Nasokan. Nama Nata Discuti Sti. Bonito Don Claro Todo Legniastisha. Gan. Lo, anu ka gini, patapan ali, patapan afana, ni hodja, tabia, ta ali, patapan afana, tanenosha, ni dumistrosa, ni pumuno itautauta. Ginen manu estina asuntu, hodji tumutun estina diskutasyon, zao na behili hodji geno tumungo. Sangonyo pagu, mongi estisha ni patan ali tatapana fana ni hafafa man mongi estisha hadi sinya mo pit na no eno patapana diskuti ni taza tabe ali eta mongi trescentus anyos na tempo na mahula dit figa no untungwa hafasyalik ni na todo estisha put para ma eduka para tajama tension i mundo tana tungwe famagonta tana guahak te beda ta kombida magi para taspia de rechota lo man mongi este sana tau tau guis esta ki mana fan empasi ni sinen teta je ni man tau tau ta tan este ta no ta na ta support tiste jagi nenen no man go 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 zu kumo man ma tau tsu ngeno shagi menata Bizon pesos para mana ita nota? One billion dollars. Panggago neno, they owe it to us. Tata regla, tata eduka ifa mago onta. Tafa maulik todo i danyo, ini kubukal, todo i nasun niya. Ezo na mandada ka uzo gifin nota. Sa ombis ifi no Inglaterra, o keke zute. I rip senriku Espanya, gago eno ginin siya. Antis di tafan na taksung gini. Tatana gwa komisyon. Hadzi malago, e digi malago, hadzi. Si Carlos Madrid esti. Si Carlos Madrid at keke tugi. I historian Espanya, sigun para minawling niya. Ini ke, gini ni spiritu ni difuntu angin santus, gini ni spiritu difuntu Ed Beneventi, difuntu John Peredo. Ini ke siapa mana ilu ni mana igui, kumu mangai gini nasiya gui ni parewa mana dada kau gini mogi, masa orang nak man mangis ti siapa tapa mata otsung. Tapi gini si ni teku dispenser tu mana iluhu, lo abmam usogis ti para be. Protehi abiba sa nabansa iman tau tau ta. Hunggan tisina tabire tati ni apa bidan niya. Lumala ta tapang gogaw. Tapang gogaw sinurora. Utungan nung komprendyo. Sangin hati po pinilila asti. Wew hagu wew komprendya. Explika. Sa untung hamzo na ini tu titu maita na ihistorya ta. Forti. Forti na sinenti. Piyot pa ako ni Tadzadzama ta keke na lala kuturata i lingwa hita. Todo tiningota po di lingwa sa moro pa di manaw tao tao no. Bonitos ti hita ni manaw tao mo na. Boniti palawra ta fanali, ta fanafana. Lo man mongis ti siya. Ni hadja na mata, ni hadja na tao tao gini. Tiningoho ni po anok Tata pan matatong, tata tata diskuti esti. Edi gi, 
ejigi mostat kilo pes jangkin sang kaus man matu jama se disti talu para sia talu para gloria sia hita tasasangan patal istudia tagini dan tagini lo para sia para manatungi mundu hapa bedania pemanatungo hapa bedania na hita enigi ena tatadu pes jigi Nangin patana empas esti jatu fan gai gi ne brother wil ta fan gogo bi zon na kep bli e jigi ta gogo zo sofu to dusti problem ata gi ni gi ta no ta bola kep bli kep bli ni dong kulu zo da tano di kiki ha hit gi ni ma gi ki ni to de mi beda ni ni man ma funa sto di ta 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 man ma puno to do kun respeto tunga dr robert underwood esta Kala nanti lami gay biasa tak nak maafkan aku ini. Respect tahu lo lo hingga makai tahu no siapa ni tu lo mala naza tak tafan mata cung dan mata dan hadis tisya hadis tisya nata tawis. Ya jadi nato mata cuzu gini kau ni nasion tayu gini pun ini nolak lain gohan pun ini nasion samoru. Ya jadi naga gini kau ni. Bena klaru. Pagu ka talo, ti ho support ti esti. Na fuck pa gina pagu. Dan si Jesus maasi sa esti saina, i isawa i saina gini gitano. Una na juus. Sta sino? Saina maasi for everybody's testimony. Um, I would like to ask, before we call up others, um, if any of the senators here would like to ask any questions, uh, perhaps beginning with uh, Senator Mary Torres. Tazagwana be Vaisinam Zulu be Aluka na Uko Fagridesi Finu Samoru Wini, the Kalan Gof Mangi Ma Ekumuk. Bunito sti na lingua hita ni si tata kwento siya ifinot sa moro masaya hap time ano no sa tata tagi hat no lo utung mo afe lalik mo ran lo usenti na gusti i i mas sa moro ni sa lalibay kustumbri ni si tata hasulo ko ibin disi Man tau tau hit man la 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 hit is the pago. So ungan guaha isa you know hagasa na isa ni bigyan niya ni tau tau talo. The senior na na ako hafal malago based ng ani alo. Kailan ti ti malago you know ni hafal lelik mo sa ungan u utung na guaha babagi gi mundo you know had di putia gi Kita tahu gua ha Isa, gua ha Bendisi, gua ha Maule, gua ha Baba. Lo ni si tata recognisi todo dunai. Sa mung mung ang manat, mung ang hit man lalalo ha. Sa bespian mo sa lapi, sa ta esalo. Mung kan siya ha tato bueno lo. Para guaho kalan kalan ikustum preko u kumprendi na ungan nisita no kai mama lo lokwe nisita guai respeto lokwe ungan justicia importante lo nisita toro sa ingen mane esalau he kuta abansa mo na kada brahi you know how Leliko, you know, utung hafe Lelik mo sa ukomprendi sa malagos na may ekong oktoro. Hafe punsangani, hit, hafe punsangan, i pamalo hafe punsangan. Masita to hungok. Todo no hafe, hafe in sinitan mito, lo. Masita loki no. Tasagani mundo na unga nu nisito un kompendi hafenu 
I don't know, I think that, it, that there's, a, there's a balance in everything and, and you know, there comes a point where sometimes understanding and coming to terms with the truth is important. And we have different perspectives, but you know, force is not always the best. We are the victims of force after all, so how do we go forward just in understanding? History is, and this is not debatable, but you know, I, I, I find, I find uh, that, that sometimes there's, there's a complete picture, and I think what, what I see from both sides is that there's just a need to present a complete picture, not to arrive at what is absolutely the truth from one perspective but you know everything is balanced and at this time when I'm listening to my mother who's 90 years old and all she talks about is the war but but she talks about it from a perspective of understanding where we arrive at truth and justice and uh, and and hatred is uh, something that she doesn't focus on and, and um, it's the hatred that I we understand the injustices, but you know, hatred is quite debilitating. And I think that um, I, I find it I find it very harsh. And you know, but but I appreciate you bringing it to the attention because that is that is something that has to be there. But you know, I I don't but know why I'm editorializing, know. but but perhaps because I'm I'm a little shocked by the contrast okay. of the two sides. Man mangi no sha. Untung apa? Isi din teko ne. Tai guinea o komentu santung apa? U shit bi esti ce so u mas di trend tai shit ti onus na pa be mo muzi e man tau tau. E pa magon di stikatiza sa dosi grado. Ham dun tinting o no na si nenti por na tintung u lingua himu. Ma lingua espiritu gine ni fenomo. Gine ni fenomo inglaterra. Fenomo inglaterra. Como un sasangan que viene en la tierra, un cacarga espíritu nea. Panongi neno, aunque te una asinia, mona claro que dos mo, si gungi y fino mo, pesta y sustancia. Ni si ta un sangan interimenti, hafa sin en termo, gine ni fino mo. Sa gine ni fino mo, na gaigi espíritu, iman tau tau mo. Panongi neno, panongi neno. Enigi kwento su. Ibinibo ni Bidania ni ngaya no fakpo. Ito ni nanggagagawzo na ufan anuk eno siya. Sinyora monggi. Tawadza sinyora mokpyo gini. Monggi kata. Na para ufan danya asti siya na tautawgis. Hadzi. Dige, makpa gano. So uh, thank you for your comments, um, Senator Torres. Um, Senator Taidegui, did you have other questions or comments? Um, uh, just a comment. I, I greatly appreciate everyone being here today and voicing your, your uh, concerns and, and the input of the young Lindsley Guamo. I have to divulge, uh, Madam Chair, that my father is the oldest member of the Young Men's League of Guam right now. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and uh, but uh, I thank you for being here. And I, with all due respect, I, I just, I'm so sorry I'm not doing this in Chamorro. Um, I'm still learning. In fact, I made sure that I had somebody translate to make sure that I'm getting it all right. So dispense it to, you know. But my love is there for the Chamorro people. Thank you.
And uh, Senator Will Castro, did you have uh, comments and questions? Just a comment, uh, Senator Dr. Kelly Marsh, Mutsumas Pada Hamzu, Iza Inet Nunalan Guahan, Dr. Maget, Dr. Omira Bernal Perry, it's nice to see you again. Um, Madam Chair, at least in my household, usually when the elders speak, uh, there isn't a whole much you could say to embellish upon uh, what they've communicated and being probably the youngest, one of the younger members of the league, uh, I'll go ahead and just state simply for the record, I stand in support of the request for uh, amendment uh, of the commission membership. Um, I think, Mr. President, uh, this is definitely something substantive we need to discuss at the next meeting. I think it's healthy. Uh, when, the, when the league was founded, it wasn't founded for the preservation of Chamo language and culture because that was the prevailing thought at the time they spoke it. It was the lingua franca. It was, it was the language of the land. As a matter of fact, it's explicit in our mission that the League was founded to discuss the issues of the day. And if this, in fact, is at the foremost part of our minds and thoughts, everything that we believe we represent for this great Chamorro nation, then let us further debate this in the league and bring it forth to the body. But I do stand in support of their requests and I thank you for, uh, for your testimony. So, Sainamahasi, everybody who uh, testified, if we could now have uh, others on the list. So, on the second list that I have, it's um, Dr. Laura Souter. And I also want to take time to recognize that we do have other members of the Young Men's League here. So we have, uh, and please correct me if I am not reading the name correctly, we have uh, Anki Torres, Tovis, excuse me, Felix Benevente, Peter Santos, Frank Mesa, Vic Paulino, and Joey Frankes. So Jules Masi for coming here and uh, thank you as well. Dr. Souter. Yes, so if you could start by stating your name and then uh, we're, we're very much looking forward to hearing your testimony. Okay, thank you. Sizus Masi. It's a manhahano estai mangatsu. Lo, I commend everybody who has lent their voice to, to these testimonies. I am Laura Marie Torres Souder, and I support the establishment of the commission to share the Chamorro perspective. Much has been done officially by our island leaders and scholars to put our colonial history into perspective and to balance the telling of our story by renaming celebrations and putting our ancestors, Imanauto Mo'na, at the center of our narrative. Hence, Discovery Day, also known as Magellan Day, became Guam History and Chamorro Heritage Day. The most recent manifestations of this commitment can be found in the permanent exhibit of the Guam Museum, appropriately titled Ihinanauta, The Journey of the Chamorro People and in reclaiming the spelling of the word Chamorro to reflect the linguistic structure inherent in our spoken language. So the way we have done things in the past, like spelling Chamorro with RRO, can no longer be used as a justifiable reason for continuing to do things that interfere with or derail our decolonizing mission as advocates of cultural sovereignty and self-determination. We must free ourselves from the restrictions and mindset that limit our capacity to revise and reinterpret our history and language to align with who we are and choose to be as a decolonizing people. While these efforts to transform the discourse relative to who we are, what we represent, including recreations and interpretations of things past, in visual and performing arts, dress, adornment, or literature, create a stir 
There's lots of gossip around whether something is authentic or not, and how our stories should be told have often taken us into uncharted and turbulent waters. We cannot lose sight of what we have become. Our genetically mixed heritage does not erode our legitimacy as an indigenous people. I offer this as a word of caution for those inclined to argue identity on the basis of quote unquote purity. The racist foundations of this argument debilitate reasonable discussions. In truth, we are as real and as authentic today as our ancestors were when they first set foot on our homeland. I find it a great challenge to my patients when people argue that we are not really Chamorro because this or that. Or when discussions go to half this or part that as if our identity was like a latanganta of tiao that could be parceled out. Mapatintiao is a telling expression we often hear from our elders when we're trying to dissect something that should be considered whole. My nana used to remind us when we asked her questions about being mesclao because we were teased at school. Half caste was the word used when we were growing up that a woman could never be part pregnant. She either is or is not. And so goes the question of identity. And that came from the wisdom of my nana, who never went to school, who didn't know how to read or write, but clearly to me is one of the wisest women in the world. What makes us Chamorro is our bloodline and our connection to our ancestors through our language. And it's right, Senator Tello, when you said, na piniti, because you can't speak the language of our ancestors. But that's a wrongdoing that generations of Chamorro engaged in without knowing the full repercussions. We bought the lie that speaking our language would somehow interfere with our being modern or being successful in school or being good Americans. We know better now and we're trying to change that picture so that your children and grandchildren will be able to teach you. And that's our goal. So what makes us Chamorro is our bloodline and our connection to our ancestors through our language. I can't say that often enough. It is in our Fino Tzamorro that our indigenous Mata is revealed. It is the basis of our cultural DNA. Sharing the Chamorro perspective with the descendants of our former colonizers and with the people of the Philippines and Chile who suffered similar indignities is a giant step toward healing the scars of hundreds of years of hurt and self-doubt. Mixed emotions, Senator Mary, you mentioned the anger, the sadness, the rage. While they're human emotions and they're normal, we have to overcome them if we're going to be part of the discussion. These emotions often permeate the discourse about Magellan's stopover on Guam in 1521 which marks the first known encounter that our ancestors had with ships and colonizers from the West. This initial con contact is rife with a written account of death, destruction, and disease, and the grave misunderstanding of the Chamorro cultural value of reciprocity, which led to the insidious naming of the Mariana Islands as Islas de Ladrones, or the Islands of Thieves, and several of the speakers who testified this afternoon have, have referenced that particular uh, naming. Douglas Al Oliver, in his book, The History of the Pacific, describes the colonization, of, the colonization of Guam that followed Magellan's visit thusly. And I quote, the rape of Oceania began with Guam, end of quote. Rape, an act of power through sexual violence, is a fitting analogy for the brutality and oppression that victims of colonization throughout the world and in the Pacific have suffered, often in silence. We are the descendants of the miscegenation that has occurred throughout our colonial history. Over the past 500 years, 
since Magellan's stopover. The legacy can neither be ignored or avoided. The fact is, our ancestors were masterful navigators and sea traders. They plied the region in their ocean-worthy Sacman long before the Trinidad commanded by Magellan and the San Antonio, Victoria, Conception, and Santiago sailed from Spain in 1519. Our bloodline and heritage also embodies all of the sociocultural and biological exchanges that have occurred since our ancestors established the first settlement on our island nearly 4,000 years ago. Their encounters at sea and subsequent visits to our shores by other Pacific seafarers have all contributed to the gene pool, culture, technology, and traditions that comprise our ancestry. To negate all that we are is to diminish the resiliency and enduring strength of our people. Our ways of knowing and our language over millennia through 150 generations, we continue to survive. We must never lose sight of the forces in our past which have shaped who we are today. And I add a caveat, we cannot get along without teaching our children the, the story from our side of the equation either. And we're doing things to remedy that. We're writing our own textbooks. I'm part of the project. This is of paramount importance as we ask ourselves the question, how should we respond to the quincentennial activities being planned by Spain, Chile, and Philippines? Should we oppose any participation? In my view, that would be tantamount to remaining voiceless. The concern that we must never convey the col that colonization was a good thing for the Chamorro people is critically important. It's a very valid point. We must not be the purveyors of some kind of condoning of colonization in any form, especially our own. Our engagement should never be interpreted as our paying tribute to what Magellan and his crew did to our ancestors. Just as our welcoming of Japanese tourists and business and enterprises on Guam today should never be construed as an effort to condone the brutality and oppression of the Japanese occupation on Guam during World War II. This proposed legislation does neither. It does not celebrate colonization or Magellan's visit. It provides the platform for us to speak our peace, or peace, as you would put it, Mary, our peace, as the case may warrant. The commission to share the Chamorro perspective is uniquely named to facilitate the process of inclusion. We have a genuine opportunity to give voice to our side of the story for the first time in 500 years. We have an opportunity to speak using our own words as the descendants of our ancestors, to give voice to those who were rendered voiceless in the telling and repeating of a story only half told. We have the opportunity to be heard by representatives of a government that our island was inextricably connected to by geopolitical forces that forever altered the fate of our people. We have the opportunity to set the record straight and to acknowledge that whether we like it or not, the reality that is marked by the first and subsequent encounters between the Tautautano and the West have shaped who we are today as modern Chamorro people of the 21st century. We have the opportunity to seek acknowledgement and a long overdue apology for colonial transgressions. The eyes of the world will be on us should we participate in this quincentennial of the first recorded circumnavigation of the globe. The mata of our ancestors, the Tautautano, must be present through us, their descendants. The opportunity is ours to seize as equals. Only we can give voice to our side of the story. This commission is the modern day Kulu that calls us to action. As we continue to reclaim our language as the umbilical cord of our culture and ultimately our identity, and as we assure its vibrance and survivability through our Chamorro revitalization efforts, 
we too can have our Magat Lahias Hurao moment. We must avail of this opportunity to speak eloquently in our mother tongue as we tell our story with passion and fervor. For Hita, Nui Manautautano, we who are the people of this land have survived and continue the journey as proud indigenous nation builders of the Marianas. Let's participate, not to celebrate, but to educate. Sidzu Usmaasi. Sidzu Usmaasi, praise Agamitsu. Sidzu Usmaasi for your... Nasoko na madingo tso tondo. Santa Maria na nanzule ko, hey, dale, lo kwesti. Okay, so go on, I mean, I'm doing so tonu gila masa. Okay, questions? Sijus Maasi for that testimony. Um, I will again uh, defer to others, uh, starting with Senator Mary Torres. Thank you, Dr. Souter. You know, in the last discourse, I think I was, I was so emotional because I was, I was feeling a pain that, that has been festering, I think, in our community, and that is, this, this essence of what it is to preserve Chamorro. What is the essence of Chamorro? And it frustrates me because being Chamorro to me is a being. It's a sense of, of, of living. It's not about what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to wear, how you're supposed to act. You just are. And that's the spirit that, that so many of us understand in our day-to-day -day existence and, and trying to work within this community. And when we, when we feel this pressure and this threat of not being Chamorro because we are inept at the language, we don't capture the language, therefore we are not Chamorro, or we don't do certain things, or we don't support certain perspectives, we are shamed and it, it, it then starts to compromise our confidence in who we are. But I live who we are as a Chamorro, much the same way my mother, my grandmother, my ancestors forward, some of whom were right off the Spanish ships. So I, I want to tell you that I appreciate so sincerely your testimony, because I think that in all the horrid history of the world, and Guam's is not unique, Our history is a part of who we are. We, we cannot undo it, but we can acknowledge it, and we can acknowledge who we are in spite of the atrocities, who we are because of the blessings, who we are because of what we've managed to do as a society, as a people, from generations back as far as we can consider, even at the time of Magellan. And I think that, that we owe ourselves to identify who we are as a result of what's happened to us, not what's necessarily what's taken away from us. And I think just, I think what we need to do to help ourselves going forward, to being true to ourselves as tomorrow and trying to reignite that spirit of, of wanting to preserve whatever we can, wanting to study the language, preserve the language, preserve the customs, record the legends and the histories that we know one of it is just getting that shame and blame out and that anger out of the system and just appreciate that we are tomorrow because we are, we are every day, we wake up and we breathe and that is what we are. Because we can't package ourselves, we can't, we can't follow a list and, and, and if you follow this, you therefore are. <laughs> that goes as, out as quickly as fashion and it becomes as irrelevant or, you know, non-consequential as fashion, which it isn't. So the spirit of tomorrow, I, I, I sincerely hope that what we can do in this is where we have a platform for the world, we at least fairly represent our platform, our, our, our ideologies, and we celebrate who we believe we are and be proud of it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but at least we acknowledge and, and perhaps ask for nothing more than the truth. And I appreciate uh, all that has been said today, even some of which I found very offensive and hurtful, only because I'm also tired of being shamed for not being a perfect tomorrow in someone's eyes. And I don't think that any of us deserve that. So Sidus Masi, for all you do, um, we will continue to 
pay attention and, and hopefully just help each other to develop the story and to present it fairly and completely. Thanks. Thanks. Senator Tello Taidegui. Thank you, Madam uh, Chair, and thank you so much uh, for being here today to testify. I thoroughly enjoyed your testimony, and uh, just when I thought it couldn't get any better, um, toward the end, you made a comment that, that I even underlined so that I can look back at it, and it says, let's participate, not to celebrate, but to educate. That was beautiful, and I, and thank you too as well uh, for your kind words about not knowing tomorrow. And I think Senator Torres um, hit it on the nose that because I'm not fluent in tomorrow, I try very hard, and I want to say I'm tomorrow poo, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> There's a word that they used to tease me about it, you know, and I too, you know, have a howly as well. Uh, so, uh, but my love for this island goes beyond uh, any stars. And I really appreciate what you're doing uh, to perpetuate this, our, our history, our culture, and keeping it growing too. Thank you so much. Okay. Senator Will Castro. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Dr. Sauter, for your input on Bill 59. Uh, if your contribution is going to come somewhat close to the work you did on the transition report, I look forward to the depth and, uh, more importantly, your objectivity in setting the record straight. So thank you so much for your contributions to the community, ma'am. My deepest respect for your scholarship. Thank you. Well, again, I just want to thank everybody who was here um, taking the time, preparing the testimony, um, thinking through the bill, and providing their input. I heard many things that uh, I too underlined <laughs> um, that really stood out to me. And some of it was from the Young Men's League when um, Andy LaGuanya was saying that Tomorrow's and people of Guam are not used to sitting at the table, and that's that's really been the true been true from my observations. Um, I grew up here; it's what I've seen my entire life, and I know that we're working hard towards getting ourselves at the table to be considered, to be given a voice, and. I just have to commend all of those who came before me and have helped pave the way because it took a lot of um, thinking outside of the box and a lot of challenging some of the traditions or the the environment that was there that was maybe that was telling us otherwise. And so um, I'm really grateful to all of you that have been paving that way for us to have the voice heard and be part of the conversation to be taken seriously, to be considered um, whole, even if others have not, have not said so. Um, and there were several things that I underlined in your testimony as well. One that really stood out to me was that this is an opportunity to share the Chamorro perspective with the descendants of the former colonizers they need to hear, but also with the people of the Philippines and Chile who also suffered similar indignities. And that those are important steps in and of themselves, but you go further and you point out that this is an important step towards healing those scars. And we can see those scars in some of the testimony today. They, there are so many, if not uh, every tomorrow, who still feels the, the depth of those scars and those old wounds. So a step towards healing is such an important one. And where you mentioned that by not participating, it's really remaining voiceless. And there's been too much of that already. Thereby, the story is also only half told. 
And it's important that we all recognize that Chamorros have indeed survived. They have continued the journey and they have much to be proud of uh, through their culture, their respect, their core values that are still strong. And the, the journey towards uh, restoring the sovereignty that was once held. So with that, if there are not any additional comments or questions, I conclude the public hearing on Bill 59-35 COR and just announce a public reminder. The committee will continue to receive testimonies for the next few days. Please address your written testimony specifically to the Committee on Heritage and the Arts, Parks, Guam Products, Haganya Revitalization, Self-Determination and Regional Affairs, and submit it by email to office.senatorkelly at guamlegislature.org. Our offices are located on the second floor of the Guam Congress Building, 163 Chalin Santo Papa, Hagatnya, Guam, 96910. Suzuis Masi again, everyone, for your attendance and participation in today's public hearing.